Yo, what's going on, guys? This is Easy Tech Two Thirty One here, back again with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys Cyanogen Mod Eleven running on my Galaxy S Four. All right, so this is Cyanogen Mod Eleven Android Four Point Four KitKat on the T-Mobile variant of the Samsung Galaxy S Four, and here it is. This is this is actually really nice to see that KitKat has already been ported to devices such as the Galaxy S4, and that this, like I said, is the T-Mobile variant. This also works with AT&T. Um, if you're wondering about the other carriers, I'm not exactly sure. I will put the links in the description where you can find them. Shout out to Max from Galaxy S4 Root, uh, where I got the ROM from, and uh, yeah, everything seems to be working just fine. Um, and it's already looking like daily driver material in my opinion, um, but I'm still searching for bugs, and I still have not found any. Um, I've had time to play around with the ROM. Everything, like I said, just seems to be working just fine. And it's really nice to have pure stock Android. And it's nice to have KitKat at that. So I'm going to go ahead and go into the settings so you can see that I am indeed running Cyanogen Mod 11 Android 4.4 KitKat right there. You can see it. And uh, yeah, I will put the ROM in the description as well as the, the Google Apps because you will have to flash the 4.4 Google Apps because 4.3 will not work. Um, because, you know, the Google Now and everything has to be, uh, you know, all up to date and whatnot. So, yes, everything seems to be working fine. Hangouts is now the uh, default messaging application. And the uh, setup was pretty quick. Flashing the ROM and everything was very quick. Um, did not take long at all. Um, of course, stock Android ROMs aren't bloated. You know, they don't have a whole bunch of extra software. So, you know, it, it's under 200 megabytes in the file. So, it's, it's going to be pretty light. Um, so before you flash this, make sure you back up everything just in case something goes wrong. Uh, but if you do everything right, you know, nothing will really go wrong. Uh, so let's take a look around the UI here. It's very fast. Haven't really noticed any lag at all. Um, adding widgets is simple. I mean, there's nothing really wrong. Again, I'm trying to find bugs. and I still haven't found any. Um, everything works, you know, saying, okay, Google, what's the weather in Orlando, Florida? It's 70 degrees and mostly cloudy in Orlando. All right, so that works, you know, like I said. Um, going in and out of apps is quick as ever. Long press to, oh, uh, here's the dialer, by the way. New dialer, which is pretty nice. I, I really like the look of Android 4.4 KitKat, and hopefully I'll be getting my hands on the Nexus 5 pretty soon. Um, but um, we'll hold off on that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Go ahead and check out the ROM. I will be giving you guys updates, uh, mostly on Twitter and Google+. Plus. Uh, so make sure you follow me on that. Again, I'll put all the ROMs or all the links in the description where you can find all of this uh, that I'm mentioning uh, as far as ROMs and, and stuff. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Um, again, uh, subscribe for more videos. Uh, follow me on Twitter, EA Sport 23. Uh, you can now follow me on Google Plus. I uh, I'm now starting to hang out there. No pun intended. Um, but yeah, follow me there, and I will catch you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.